Hi, I'm Captain Dave here at the annual Catawba In-Water Boat Show. This event always kicks off this boating season here on Lake Erie. What do you say we walk down on the docks and see some of the new boats for this year, and also walk along the pier and see what's in the booths and what kind of offerings they have. Here, boats are floating as they should be, but some are also displayed on shore. Well, we have all brands of inflatable boats, but a rigid inflatable boat has a fiberglass hull with the tubes attached to it around it. In our area here, there's a lot of harbors, bays, West Harbor, East Harbor. A lot of people use them as just little runabouts. Probably 70% of our customers own a bigger boat and they use this as a tender. That's a Eagle 650. Uh, it has a 150 horsepower Merc on the back. A boat will do about 50 miles an hour. Uh, size of motor you put on it is all how fast you want to go. While boats floating in the basin are the focus of the Catawba in-water boat show, savvy skippers also seek out the advice of engine, insurance, and propeller experts ashore. Uh, balancing is important if you I'll, I'll try and relate this to people so they understand. It, it's like your car. If a tire is out of balance, you can feel that shimmying coming all the way through. The same thing happens with a propeller. If a propeller is out of balance, if one blade is heavier than the other, you'll feel those vibrations coming through into the boat. What that does is that'll prematurely wear out your seals on your shaft and everything else. It's, it's not a good situation to have. Unfortunately, this, this gentleman cut the corner a little bit too short. He went inside the buoy instead of outside the buoy and hit the bottom of, of Lake Erie with this particular propeller. Um, all four blades were bent up, as you see, and we straightened one to give an example of our capabilities. Need a dock or a lakefront cabin? They're also available here. Marblehead Estates and Yacht Club is a boater's paradise. It is built right off of scenic route 2 on the coastal ohio trail here in ohio's vacation land and it is loaded with amenities there is room for a 250 foot slip marina we have a clubhouse pool fitness center also bayfront lots we have canal lots pond lots and regular lots and you can slide open your patio door and walk right down the sidewalk to your 50-foot private dock. Whether you're a boater, an angler, or a ship watcher, clean water is critical to enjoying Lake Erie. Lake Erie Foundation is a collaboration between businesses, property owners, recreational people, people in travel and tourism. Uh, to create a better quality water in Lake Erie and to try to resolve some of the problems that exist to improve the water quality and the environment of our uh, natural resources, Lake Erie. The current issue that probably most people are familiar with is the algal bloom issue or the harmful algal blooms, often called HABs, that occur on Lake Erie. And that is the algal blooms that occur sometime to midsummer to late fall that have affected the water quality and made the dynamics of using Lake Erie uh, in some cases prohibitive. As we've experienced in Toledo, with, we had the water shut off because of the microcystin that was found in the water supply that was feeding the city. We also have the, the, the negative side of the algal bloom, which becomes a, a, a tourism deterrent, turns away people from returning to Lake Erie and enjoying the, the beautiful natural resources we have. I'm Captain Dave, and on behalf of X5 Network TV, I want to thank you for joining us at the Catawba Island In-Water Boat Show.